<laughs> Greetings there, my fellow zombie slayers. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Horebreaker, Episode 18. Fools Rush In. You can't replace the heater in the vehicle, according to the wiki? Yeah, I believe that's true. There's a few things you can't replace. You can't, you can repair the engine, but not replace it. You can't replace light bars, if I'm not mistaken, unless they change that. You can't replace heaters. Um, trying to think. There's a few others. You're more of a city builder? Is there a way to have light raids? Not yet. There eventually will be, um, well, there's a way to, like, turn off a lot of the zombies so that they're not... They're very few and far between, and actually, famously, one of the developers of Project Zomboid plays this way. He's just like, you know, I'm not good at the game, I just develop for it, so I play on almost full sandbox mode where I just build. Um, so yeah, when you set up a new game, you can set it up with any difficulty levels that you want. So if you only want, like, a few zombies here and there, that's totally fine. Oh, you mean in RimWorld? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can do that in RimWorld too. Both games are equally uh, customizable in terms of difficulty. Alright, I'm gonna turn back here. Having killed another hundred or so. Just one more group? Yeah, I was going until I got tired. What do you think I should do tomorrow? Should I continue to try to get the generator book, continuing the path that I've carved today towards the gas station? Should I level up my carpentry so that I am able to build a stairwells? Or should I scout out the permanent home? You died when you triggered a house alarm? Yeah, that'll happen. House and car alarms are pretty brutal. If you ever trigger an alarm and you haven't considerably killed off the neighborhood, just immediately start to run. The best thing to do is to run to an adjacent house or like two or three houses over and hole up so that they don't find you and track you. Zombies, unless you raise their difficulty, um, have a very short attention span, like 15 seconds, and they'll forget that you exist. So if you break line of sight with them for 15 seconds, they will stop trying to follow you. There are, um, there's ways on, on server setup to raise their attention span. Oh, Jesus. How did I almost flip? To raise their attention span and make them a lot more better at tracking and pathfinding to you. Because as, as it is now, like, uh, my zombies are like base AI. I haven't, like, ramped them up. But if you do ramp them up, they'll... They'll, like, open doors and things like that to try to get to you, which gets to be sketchy as hell. Zombies that open doors are... are zombies that are... are pretty scary. So these zombies here are close enough to my home that... if I don't kill them, they're just going to be at my front door, so I might as well kill them here. Magnum and Nightstick. Is it a better Nightstick than mine? Nah, it's about the same. Alright, generate book again. Got it. 
I got pretty close today. I'll definitely be able to get it tomorrow. Well, not definitely, but I'll, I'll likely be able to get it tomorrow. Barring any ridiculousness. The truck is imbalanced without that propane tank in the uh, glove box, apparently. Yeah, it seems like it. So my hood, if memory serves, is at like 33%, I think. So I'll do a little vehicle check uh, to see if I've taken... Oh, there's someone in my walls. Uh, to see if it's taken any damage since... need a snowplow? <laughs> you know what I need is I need like one of those cow catchers hooked up to like a shredder or something. I don't know. Some unique post-apocalyptic setup. Can't you build your own houses in this game? You can. Yeah, it's possible. It's not particularly fun to do. Okay, yeah, no damage to the car. Cool. A combine harvester. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, the reason why it's not fun to build, or at least in my opinion, uh, to build your own houses from scratch, is it takes an incredible amount of time and resources. And then the game is also well set up for it. So what ends up happening is you'll end up with a house, but it has a lot of like weird bugs. Uh, for instance, it will rain in your house and you'll have like nature noises in your house as if it's outside. Uh, what the game designates as inside or outside is kind of just and otherwise, like, incorrect. So, I, I... I have one series on YouTube where I, like, build my own house, but I actively avoid it. Because it's a lot of effort for almost no reward. It's up to you. You want to do it. Do it. Is there snow in this game? There is. Uh, right now it's August 4th, so there's not going to be snow for another few months. But if you live long enough, you do get snow. If the gas station doesn't have a generator magazine, I'll try to figure out where the closest bookstore is and head there instead. When there, when it's snow, is it freezing? Yes. Yeah. Has to be below freezing for there to be snow in the game. Almost hit you. Uh, and this game takes place in Kentucky, so you'll get snow, you know, in November, probably at the earliest, unless you have a freakishly cold October. Well, no, I, I might have seen it in October before. It's not that common. Need to be driving a bit better. Should you prepare for winter? No. <laughs> if you're a veteran player, sure. But if you're asking if there's snow, you're probably not a veteran player. Just focus on surviving a month or a week or even a few days. Planning on surviving like four months uh, as a new player in the game, it's unlikely you make it that far. I'm not trying to be discouraging. I'm just trying to be re realistic. Most, most new players aren't going to live past a month. So warm clothing and uh, a heater is not something that you're probably going to need. But there are, there is, like, warm clothing and stoves and other things that you're going to want for winter. I need to move my Carhartt. <laughs> Carhartts. 
My car is... Maybe I'll have it be a sailboat. Love how the symbols allow you to have uh, sailboats, but not cars. Cars are just omitted. Gerald, come on, man. You've killed 3,200 zombies. You still panic over one or two? Kills me. Kills me to see you pained this way. I've been really lucky with the beta blockers, though. I was right, he was wearing a bulletproof vest. Sweet. I didn't want to destroy the vest in case I wanted to wear it. Because it's pretty chilly in the game right now. Meaning that I can get away with wearing the vest and not overheat. So let's throw that on. Oh, I'm stupid. Put my backpack. Yeah, look at my protection stats. Jump. Uh, I didn't actually put it on. Boom. Upper and lower torso. Not today. I say that as a jinxing, I bet. I know technically I'm making forward progress because zombies are dying, but my goodness, so many of them. My radio is still on? Yeah, I meant to leave it on so that I could see the weather report for tomorrow. So axe check, this one's almost bust. Doing a swappy swap. Louisville, you've got yourself an infestation problem. All right, sorry, Bulletproof Vest. You're wonderful, but, uh, you know, I'll, maybe I'll uh, put it in the truck. I'm starting to overheat. That's a result of wearing it. Let's see how much damage it did to my hood. I hit a few zombies on the way over. It was down to 28, so down 5%. And here's the weather report. So the weather report refreshes at 9 a.m., so it's really important for me to catch the 9 a.m., because if I have uh, choppers inbound, it will warm me at 9 a.m. Ooh, motorcycle helmet. Motorcycle helmets used to be amazing, because they would protect your neck, but now they don't. Look cool. 
I believe. I'm going to double check. They are super well insulating. So they're good winter helmets, I guess. Can you cure a bite? Nope. Not without mods. In default Zomboid, you get bit, you're dead. Nothing you can do. Yeah, so this only protects your head. Eh, I'll keep it. I don't have default settings. So... I can't be... I can't uh, become zombified in this series. I can only die from being just destroyed by zombies. My man... Gerald here has way too much hate in his veins to ever be taken down, down by a, uh, a zombie. What's the best protection now uh, for neck? That would be a diamond patterned sweater um, plus a leather jacket plus a scarf, I think. And it, it doesn't get you anywhere near 100%. But that's with maxed tailoring. Without maxed tailoring, it might just be like a bunker jacket. Fireman bunker jacket instead. All right, these guys are about to get much faster. Just want to get to the gas station, friend. Yeah, why the diamond patterned sweater over the other ones? The V-neck and crew neck and, and polo neck or whatever. Is the diamond pattern ones are the only ones that actually cover your neck if you check the stats. The other the other sweaters don't. Alright, so here's the weather report at 9 a.m. You guys are stopping me from reading it. Come on now, leave me alone so I can read it. I might just have to catch the 10 a.m. I'm close enough to hear it, I think. Luckily that uh, zombie had more beta blockers. All right, I am unpleasantly hot because it's wait. It's I'm unpleasantly hot and it's 60 Fahrenheit out. That seems wrong. myself uh tuna and sardines for breakfast Ooh. sounds awful and i'm just gonna sit uh well i'm gonna try to sit tight for the 10 a.m why is the generator important um you can't have power without a generator book because you don't know how to work a generator and no power means no refrigeration no freezers no lights no anything I'm going to back up a little bit so I don't miss the weather report because I would like to know if a chopper's coming. So rain, heavy showers, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm just attracting so many zombies. And then clear skies. Light fog. No air activity. Uh. 
Can I get another trapper so soon? Uh, it is random. I don't, I'm probably not able to get a chopper this soon. I think it's, I don't know what the minimum is. Maybe it's like five days. I forget, but I, I wanted to double check just in case. Cause I was going to have to kill these zombies anyway. So why not make sure they don't have a chopper vending? Seriously, it's 62 Fahrenheit. Why am I overheating like crazy? I'm just wearing a denim shirt and a Hawaiian shirt. It's not a lot. Fine, Hawaiian shirt. You have to go. So if there was a chopper incoming, it would say air activity detected. That's the uh, the keyword for chopper. And I didn't, I got no, what? I swore I turned off the radio. You've seen choppers two days in a row? Okay, well if that's the case, I guess it's hypothetically possible. All the more reason to double check. I don't have, like, the game mechanics memorized, so I know it's really unusual, but I thought it was possible, too. Bread knife. Boo. Look at how this one's dressed. Very elegant. Game, do you want me to take off my all my clothing? Just be bare chested? Alright, fine. Jesus. I'm not exerting myself that much. Bare chested, it is. Am I running a fever? No, I'm not running a fever. I think it's just all the exertion. Also, I think the heater is on in the car, which is certainly not helping anything. No, it's not on. Okay. Game wants me to go full redneck. Seems like it. Maybe it's the helmet. I don't, I don't know. Ooh, that's a lot. One of the reasons I'm trying to keep my body temp down is so that I don't um, consume all of my water and have to go and find water somewhere. I'll be able to get water in the um, in the gas station, and I'm getting pretty close to the gas station. But I, I'm gonna guess there's still like a few hundred zombies between me and it, just because of how populous this dang city is. This city's a mess. Well, apparently, the shirt wasn't enough. Now I look like I'm straight out of Borderlands or something. <laughs> you want me to get rid of the bandana too? Yeah, technically it has insulation. Bye bye bandana. So let's take a look. My skin temperature and body response is way better now. So I, sh I should not be constantly overheated. I'm just so burly. 
that I, it's my burliness has been keeping me warm. I'm a calorie furnace. Lose the pants. Go full Conan. I mean, looking at my temperature, I kind of have to. Now I have just boots and high socks and my silk, silk boxers. Can I make a rain collector? Yep. And can you farm? Yep. Both are possible. You can farm, you can fish, you can trap, you can forage, you can scavenge. And look at my protection now. Gloves, socks, and boots. And I'm feeling awesome. Feel like my um my temperature meter is like bugged out or something. There, I have the air conditioner on high blast while I'm without shirts and pa uh, shirt and pants in the uh, in the car. You think that was a question about the playthrough progression? Uh, the goals of this playthrough are, are written in the About and Details command. So if you have questions of that ilk, uh, I already have written up answers. Making it easy. Oh, hello. Damn, the amount of beta blockers that these, these people have is awesome. I might not have uh, put tried to get to the gas station as an option had I known that it was this volume of zombies I had to get through. I don't know how many I've... I, I've probably killed like 500 trying to get here now or so. As long as I've outdoorsman, I don't really get sick like this. Yeah, true. It reduces your chance by 90%. Okay you kind of don't get sick from the environmental effects. Then it's not cold right now. If anything, I'm just overheated. Don't interrupt pineapple time. They seem to be multiplying. They're just attracted to the noise and commotion. It's the hottest meal they've seen for uh, weeks, and that's why they're coming from everywhere. Axe check, about two thirds. No, oh, I am feeling queasy. Maybe I'm a little sick. What would have gotten me sick? I'll, I'll take my antibiotics that I have in a second. Yo! Back up. That would explain the body temperature. Where are those antibiotics? There you are.
It's probably all the corpse dank, yeah. Most of these are fresh corpses, though. So they're not really in the, uh, the state of rot that would be a problem. But I don't know the full, because I'm new to this patch, I don't know the full details about how the corpse rot works, so... That's totally reasonable. Hey, don't diss the brown sugar diet. I'm fermenting all that brown sugar into delicious rum in my gut. After this next group of uh, zombies that are blocking the car, I'll probably turn back and uh, head back to the temporary house. Give Gerald here some well-earned r and R. I I didn't manage to get close enough to the gas station, but I did kill like 500 zombies in my attempt. So many of them. Yeah, I'm pretty close, but I'm sure there's still a good hundred or so left. Probably more. So the gas station's right here. I'm uh I'm really only just a few hundred feet from it. I'll have to kill like a thousand total. Yeah, that's totally reasonable. Oh, it started now that I'm out of the car? That's just rude. All right, Kit. Knight Rider. All right, let's get somewhere away from the corpse stink, in case the corpse stink is what's harming me. Totally a reasonable conjecture. My health isn't dropping or anything. I just feel queasy. Being around all this rot and nasty is probably the cause. Streets are still pretty full. Miles of bodies. <laughs> when you have to measure bodies in distance and not quantity, you know you've done a good job. Does anyone know the um, radius of rot stink? Like how far away from corpses you have to be? I guess I have the PZ wiki, I could look it up. My front yard is not much better, no. The house is pretty far away from the corpses, though. I've, I've kept them away from the house. The proper house. What's my kill count now? It is 35, 38. In 26 days. It's averaging, like, a, what is that, a, or 120 a day or something? It's actually not that high of an average. But in the last, the last like, few days, I've put in about a thousand of that. When am I going to repair my axe? Oh, when it needs it.
doesn't need it yet. Yeah, it's still got a third left on it. You get more bang for your buck when it's actually heavily damaged. I think that's the last of them that was coming in. I need a crematorium. I, uh... You're right. But fire is scarier than zombies in Zomboid. And playing with fire is super scary. So I don't. Or, well, not yet. I plan on it. But in a slightly more controlled scenario. What's the max number of players? I have no idea. 32, 64, some number like that. Alright, I think all of the biters that wanted to mess with the house are probably killed by now. again continue towards the gas station or pull an audible do something else i'll leave it up to you and hope this queasiness goes away let me quickly look up uh zombie rot see if i can get some sort of answers here Kind of hard thing to Google on the uh, on the w wiki. But the queasiness uh, went away, so I'm assuming it was proximity to zombies. Because I am not queasy anymore, and that's good. You guys are right. I'm just around too many bodies. Why is my wiki in French? Okay. Am I still hot? No, no. I mean, I'm, I'm warm, but not hot. I'm normal temperature now. Just tired. All right, I can definitely finish this book. You saw in a video that if you're close enough to hear the flies, you've been affected by them. That's believable. Uh, that seems reasonable. I don't know what that fly radius is, though. I don't have that memorized, but uh, it's good to know that I shouldn't stand on the zombies. Although being queasy wasn't much of a problem. It just meant that I couldn't wear as much uh, armor as I would normally want to wear. But as long as I'm not taking any damage, I mean, armor only really encumbers, so not a big deal. And it looks like you guys want me to try to get that, uh, go to the gas station again. So I'll, I'll try. Can you cremate zombies? Uh, not cremate. You can set them on fire and turn them to ash. But there's no way for you to not have the fire spread. So it's something I tend not to do because it causes more problems than it solves. If you want to learn more, uh, just set fire to something in Project Zomboid and you will learn the fear of fire because it is ridiculous. The TLDR is uh, everything is flammable and the f there's just nothing but rain can stop the fire. 
So if you set fire to something, plan on your everything around you within hundreds of meters burning to the ground with you unable to stop it. That's fire in, in Zomboid. So if I set fire to like one zombie, um, zombies don't die very quickly when set on fire. So that zombie is then going to walk for, uh, let's say a hundred meters and set everything within a hundred meters on fire. And then everything within that hundred meters that was on fire will catch other zombies and set them on fire, spreading another hundred meters in every direction. So if you light one zombie on fire and you're not very careful about what you're doing, you end up with just everything on fire everywhere. And uh, and the only thing to stop the fire is to wait for rain to happen, which is not a solution if your base is on fire. And if your base is on fire, bye-bye. Uh, just leave, just walk away. There's no saving it. Fire extinguishers in this game don't work very well. And they are only gonna be able to put out small fires and small fires turn into big fires within minutes. The TLDR fire is mm, just as dangerous to the player and everything the player owns and wants to keep uh, intact as it is to zombies. Okay, you guys are starting to swarm. So, beta blockers. Oh man, there's a lot of you. Come on, I have a delicate truck. Why is there so many? Oh, I'm dead. And here lies Gerald, tripped by zombies. <laughs> I should have parked back. So this is a, a perfect example of why you wouldn't want to drive too far ahead. Case in point, you get swarmed and you get dead. That's it. That's all it takes. Uh, there's nothing to save scum into, Malahawk. There's no save to scum. The saves are gone. They're poof. And that is how easy it is to die. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Hordebreaker, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 12th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Stay safe out there, my fellow zombie slayers. 